Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is Hunter from Out Astrophotography doing a special review today of the Tri Adapter High Precision Phone Adapter from Move Shoot Move. Now Move Shoot Move hit me up asking to review this cell phone adapter to your eyepiece on the telescope to do some basic astrophotography of some lunar, some solar, and even planetary kind of astrophotography with the use of a smartphone. Now, I haven't done something like this in probably about 12 years, really early on back in the late 2000s when I was trying to use my little four inch refractor looking at sunspots for the previous solar cycle using a DSLR on a tripod and trying to angle these up to get just one singular picture. Now, with the technology used today, this is made even simpler. Now, let's open it up and see what we are looking at right now. We do get this very, very nice carrying case right here, nice soft. And on the inside of there, you also do get a Bluetooth shutter that works with your smartphone so it can be completely hands-free because anytime you try and hit the photo button on your tripod, you will probably cause some shaking. So this is a hands-free way of doing so. But now let's actually get the device out itself. So this is made with all aluminum. It's all metal for the most part here. You'll be able to hold this device and be able to screw this on and clamp it onto a eyepiece holder and then you have three different accesses that you can use your X Y and even Z this one here will move it closer or farther away from the eyepiece you have this one up here which can raise your phone up and down you have another one here to clamp your phone on here onto the device itself and then you also have a left and right function as well so Let's get this on to an eyepiece and see how to properly set this up. Now right now you can get the Tri Adapter right off of their website at moveshootmove.com. Currently with just the adapter itself, right now it is $59.99 US dollars. But if you want the Bluetooth adapter with it, it's only another five more dollars for $64.99. Now Move Shoot Move did send me this to review with no opinions attached, hopefully all good reviews with this for how easy it is, how stable it is to use this device, and what I recommended to new and upcoming astrophotographers to kind of dip their toes in the water firsthand. Now, this video is sponsored by Move Shoot Move as well. And now for today's video sponsor is Move Shoot Move. Now Move Shoot Move is a pioneering company at the forefront of crafting innovative tools and accessories tailored for photographers and videographers worldwide. Founded on the principles of precision, creativity, and exploration, Move Shoot Move is dedicated to empowering enthusiasts and professionals alike to push the boundaries of their craft. Specializing in design and production of high quality equipment, Move Shoot Move offers a diverse range of products engineered to enhance the photography and videography experience. From the precision engineered camera mounts and adapters to advanced motion control systems, every Move Shoot Move product is meticulously crafted to meet the demand of modern creativity. With a passion for adventure and discovery, Move Shoot Move embraces the spirit of exploration, encouraging photographers and videographers to capture the world's beauty with unparalleled precision and creativity. Whether it's chasing stars in the night sky, capturing dynamic time lapses, or exploring the wonders of nature, Move Shoot Move empowers users to unleash their creativity and unlock new possibilities. Driven by a commitment to excellence and innovation, Move Shoot Move continues to push the boundaries of what's possible in the world of photography and videography. With a dedication to quality, craftsmanship, and customer satisfaction, Move Shoot Move is not just a brand, it's a trusted partner for creators on their journey to capture the extraordinary. Thank you, Move Shoot Move, for sponsoring today's video. 
Now for tonight, I am going to be using a very minimalistic setup, no go-to, none of those fancy tools that I normally use for astrophotography. photography. We're going straight old school here of using a manual control mount, a small telescope that you would first get when you're starting off into the hobby. I'm even gonna be using the colossal eyepieces that normally come with sets like this in general. So we're gonna be going very minimalistic and kind of what you would expect starting out in the hobby in general. Now the setup I am gonna be using here is an Orion Apex 102. It is a multiscope Cassie Green telescope. And this is a very, very old Omni XLT Celestron CG4 mount that is completely manual tuning. And then I also have this Palosal eyepiece here from Orion Cirrus. And that's what we're going to be using for testing purposes tonight. So we're going to be fitting this to our eyepiece here in the back. Snug that right in. It's a 25 millimeter Palosal. Then we're going to attach our tri adapter to the eyepiece. Now you got to make sure that it is pointed the right way in general. And looking now, this is very simple to clamp on with just these thumb screws. So you'll be able to line it up just perfectly like that. And it's pretty snug right off of the bat. Now I am going to be using my smartphone here, which is a Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. But the one thing I did notice with some of the larger phones, it will not fit in here if it has a case on it. So in my case, since I use a very, very large smartphone, this will not fit in here securely. So I will have to take the case off, unfortunately. All right, now that I got my case off of my phone here, we're gonna go ahead and secure it in place. Gonna have to raise this up a little bit so it's not hitting on the eyepiece. And there we go, we clamp it down right into place. And I must say, it is definitely fairly sturdy for the most part. Now, the most interesting thing is going to be since how smartphone technology is compared to when I used to do this many, many years ago, smartphones now have multiple cameras where before we just had one singular camera that did everything. Now we have three, four, even five cameras in general that are on a smartphone. So. This is gonna be the next test of how easy it is to align with your camera to the eyepiece and be able to get it into focus and to know which one that you're actually imaging through. All right, so the first thing we're gonna be doing is seeing how easy it is to line up the camera to the eyepiece with the nice uh, three axis X, Y, and Z controls to be able to not have a nice steady view. So the first thing we're gonna do, even though it is sunny right now, we are dealing with a little bit of some clouds. What if you wanted to use this for a spotting scope just for some traditional landscape photography. You say you're up on a big mountain, you wanted to zoom in further down the way that your smartphone can't quite do. Well, we'll see how that well it does with the terrestrial views. So the one thing that I do recommend is when you go into your camera settings that you don't use just the normal you know everyday use camera if you have a smartphone that has the ability to have like a pro mode to have more flexibility in with your settings like your exposure your iso definitely use that especially with newer smartphones in this day of age you'll be able to control what camera it is using on your smartphone so let's try and line this up what i'm doing right now is just pointing just directly across from me in the field to see what we can see and be able to use these adjustment knobs to try and find exactly what we are looking at. So 
Luckily, I wasn't too far off, and looking out in the distance, we do have what looks like to be some irrigation. You can adjust the knots back and forth to whatever your liking is, and this is actually quite easy as a matter of fact it is very very nice that you're able to have like these really slow motion controls you can zoom in so you don't get that weird halo effect and then you can adjust the focus to your liking and looking at that that's actually not too terribly bad at least for purposes of doing landscape photography with your smartphone and be able to just hit a button here try to focus it up to wherever you like it and hit a button and you take a photo so that's very very easy and you know i, I like that a lot <laughs> definitely this kind of photography back in the day was a lot more complicated than this but luckily now with how technology is you have these easy to use adapters it makes it a whole lot easier now so that is definitely an a plus there now we got the daytime test out of the way and it performed pretty well. Now we just need to wait for nightfall because we do have a waxing gibbous moon right now and that'll be a nice target to try out this evening. Hopefully that the, uh, the high clouds won't be too much of a big deal. Well now it is nightfall and we're getting ready to take a look at the moon even though I'm still having a lot of some high thin cirrus clouds right now but it will still give us a nice test of the capabilities of this triaptor. So I'm out here with my telescope on the CG4 and let's get ready to go look at the moon. Now that we have the moon in our eyepiece right now, let's go ahead and put our adapter together so we can take some photos of it. Now we're going to go ahead and attach our phone to the mount. Now we're going to angle it up and see how the moon looks. Okay, so we got the moon into view right now. Zoom in a little bit. Wow, that is much easier. Got some nice regions right there. We can change the exposure to how we like it. Let's set up a little timer and let's take a photo of it. Once I get it nice and centered, let's go right about there. Very nice. Let's zoom in a little bit more. <laughs> Getting nice and tight on those regions. Very nice. Yeah, not too shabby. I must say. Zoom out a little bit. It seems like I'm still a little bit off of the center of the eyepiece. So I'm going to continue to... There we go. That's a little better. So now what I need to do is realign. Let's take another photo. Okay. Not too bad. I must say. Very easy and straightforward for the most part. Now the next thing I want to try out is the little Bluetooth uh, adapter. So we're going to go ahead and turn this on and we're probably going to have to connect the Bluetooth here. So I have to go ahead and find it. Go out to our Bluetooth settings.
must be AB Shutter 3. So we're going to go ahead and pair that. All right, apparently it is paired now. So let's go back to our camera app. Get the moon recentered back. Let's see what happens when we push a button. And it takes a photo. <laughs> that is very easy. You can just keep taking photos. Just keep clicking. So you want to take multiple ones for a series of photos. You can go ahead and do that with just a simple click. Very nice. Now there is another button to record. So will it take video and automatically switch over to video for me? Nope, it just takes another photo. So it must work when you have to change it into the video mode for itself. Which is not a big deal whatsoever, but regardless, still really cool to be able to do that. I'll tell you what though, this does bring me back to first starting out in about 2007, trying to take moon photos when I was in high school, and this is the kind of similar thing I wish I had in general be able to take moon photos but yeah this is definitely geared to people who just wanted to get into astrophotography just the very beginning stages don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on a cool camera or a DSLR they have a smartphone and a telescope that they just got for their birthday or for Christmas and just want to take photos of it now I know this probably will not work for deep sky I think this is going to be more geared towards what it would be for planetary and as well as for lunar, solar, and terrestrial wise. So all in all, great test. So in all in all, after all the testing that I've done, this little handy device here is really nice for someone who is just starting off in her astrophotography journey, doing some planetary, maybe doing a little bit of some terrestrial viewing. They don't really want to be spending a ton of money on a nice high-end camera or a tracking mount or all that kind of stuff. They just have a basic telescope at home and just want to take a few pictures of the moon, some planets, maybe the sun if you have the proper solar filter, or through some terrestrial or even some bird watching kind of stuff. This Tri adapter here is very very nice. I really like it a lot especially for how easy it was just to get the phone centered unlike it was back in the day when you had to try to use a tripod and then try to point it over the eyepiece in general. But this is just nice. You just have to make just very small slight adjustments here and there whether it's forward to back left or right or up and down. So it's definitely a big win and I definitely do recommend it for anyone who just want to just start off with some basic astrophotography. Even though it is not really deep sky astrophotography of what I do, I definitely still do appreciate because this does bring back a lot of memories first starting out back about 15 years ago when I started to get in towards this hobby. So I'll have a link to where to purchase one of these devices down here in the comments below and you'll be able to find out uh, more information about it. And it's free shipping right now. I'll be able to ship to your door. This thing came relatively quick, even though it did come from overseas, but it came within about a week or so. But thank you to Mushu Move for sponsoring this video today. And I hope you enjoy it out there and clear skies. And I'll see you in the next video.